I think this was the first time in the history of the franchise that a team-up of the Foundation's enemies, more specifically against Michael, came together with the same goal to take down the very people that had them incarcerated earlier in the story. Adrian's was more of a business revenge, as she's still motivated by monetary greed in increasing her wealth by abducting a well-known scientist from Sweden that's scheduled to give a electron laser technology that is being sold off to a high bidder of an unfriendly nation. Garth, being Garth, is just hell-bent on Michael's destruction by making him suffer for everything that was, quote, taken from him and given to Michael instead by his father. But then, logic defeats this argument when you consider that Garth was bat crap insane and believes that he is entitled to everything. And of course, if you have Garth, you have Goliath. The brutish semi doesn't feature as much as previously in the opener for season 2, while he has notable improvements in not having any weaknesses for Kit to exploit like he did with the connection between tractor and trailer not being protected by the molecular bonded shell, the truck does little to nothing other than breaking Garth out of prison, facing Kit that forces him off the road to deploy his emergency parachute and transporting Dr. Bergstrom to a Navy sub off the coast and then chasing Kit, which ultimately culminates with the end of Adrian, Garth, and Goliath by diving into the ocean off a cliff that Michael gets Kit to narrowly avoid. What I enjoy about this story is that it has Michael and Kit at more of a disadvantage as they get taken into hostage once accosted by Garth's men, along with keeping Devon, April, and Klaus hostage. Klaus is just there for a rest stop before they move him along, whilst Garth is intent on killing Devon as to him, he represents too much of his father's legacy, of which he resents. But considering what a disappointment he turned out to be, could you blame Wilton Knight for distancing himself from Garth? I couldn't. For me, this was a great highlight for season two, in that you knew that it's unlikely that Garth is unlikely to ever return. Although, there is the popular fan theory that the man at large that Prometheus's specs, along with the Kitstang specs, were supposed to be delivered to Garth Knight from the Knight Rider SG pilot. This was never followed up, but it would have been interesting if more had been alluded to in that show, as to see that resolved and concluded would have been satisfying. But that said, I think I'm expecting a little too much from modern Hollywood. Don't you? But all in all, a great story and a great payoff for our heroes. And a little bit of trivia. This two-hour TV movie is split up into two parts for syndication, and Kit is equipped with the Emergency Parachute Deployment, EPD. Now for acting. I couldn't fault anybody this week. I was really impressed by David, Rebecca, and Peter Mark Richman as Klaus Bergstrom. David for his scene-stealing performance for his dual roles as Michael and Garth Knight, Rebecca for showing the emotional range and being able to stand around ground with Garth and Peter for his dual role as Dr. Klaus Bergstrom and his doppelganger. As for the score, this is classic Knight Rider, where it's able to be intense when Garth is carrying out his nefarious schemes and for driving scores when Michael and Kit are in pursuit of him. And there's even discrepancies for this follow-up. Especially in continuity, when Goliath is driven out of the garage, a model is used, that is true. To conceal the fact that there is no driver, the windshield has been deliberately obscured with dirt and mud. However, in all other exterior shots, the windshield is perfectly clean. During his escape, Garth kicks a fellow inmate who tries to climb into Goliath after him. In the close-up, Garth faces the man from the front and kicks with his left leg. Then we cut to a wide angle, he is facing him from the back and kicking him with his right. Spoilers. The goof item may give away important plot points. Continuity, when Michael is rescuing Dr. Bergstrom from Goliath's trailer, they both step from the moving trailer onto Kit's hood before jumping onto the seats from the open T-top. Once they are inside Kit, both of the trailer doors are closed and locked. Overall, this was the second two-hour episode of the season and it was a great way of resolving the issues of Adrian Margot and Garth Knight. This would be the last time we would see these characters, although Garth would be referenced by name by his sister, Jennifer Knight, in the Season 4 opener, Knight of the Juggernaut. And if the events of the SG pilot had been followed up on, Garth would have been the man at large, if what the popular fan theory is believed to be true. In all honesty, I think this episode would have served better as the season finale for Season 2. It tied up loose ends and it ended on a high note with Bergstrom safe and secure 
and Michael going on a date with the girl of the week, in this case being Klaus's niece, Dr. Christina Bergstrom. Good night from the night. Thank you.